Hey Solder Otter fans, I'm Katie Solder, an engineer by day, wedding planner by night. I had to put on the brakes for my regularly scheduled content because I found this insane story. It's an increasing trend for wedding robots. Like, are we okay? Is the world okay? Are we in the future already? We gotta head time into the future. Okay, so I heard about this while listening to Wait Wait Don't Tell Me, the NPR News Quiz, which shows you the kind of nerd that I am. When I overheard that over 200 weddings have had this wedding robot, and I had to find out more about it for you guys. Let's figure out what's going on with this. And um, if you stay through to the end, I can tell you exactly where you actually can get one if you want one. Not sponsored. This is not sponsored. There's this video from the Washington Post. Oh my god. Oh my god. So it's not a real robot. It's like a guy in a robot. Oh my god, that is so cool. Eight foot tall. CO2 cold fog at your guests. Oh my gosh. Nothing says till death do us part like a giant robot. Oh. Oh my god. This this is amazing. They aren't exclusive to weddings, which is cool. But I'm like, so okay, so they can also do bond mitzvahs, quinceañeras, and uh, gender re gender reveal parties. I would never have thought that. Is this cool? I think it might be. I also I did a little searching and I actually found one that's in my area. Can I hope that I get a wedding where I actually see one of these? This is super cool. Let me show you. It's the Dakota Fox Entertainment and they service the, the Carolinas. Hey, so apparently they do a lot of like stilt stuff and like, oh my gosh, there's like this mirror lady hanging. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. They have... I, I'm, I honestly, I think I really love the acrobat idea. Like, I don't know, well, I just, the mirror lady with the disco ball head and the champagne dress, just walking around with glasses of champagne. You're just, that seems fabulous. <laughs> that is um such a bizarre idea though. I would have never thought about this. And they're robots are so tall. Now this is something you'd be like, let's hire this on for like 30 minutes in during the reception to just liven up the party really quick. Um, I think it would work. I think that'd be really cool actually, but I'm still kind of like, that is a vibe. That's not everyone's vibe. Okay, moving on. There's this Reddit story which, which has a video of my grandma dancing with a robot at my cousin's wedding. She still got it. Oh no, it's not a video. That is so cute. That is so cool looking. I mean, this is a bizarre idea. This is definitely not everyone's cup of tea, but holy crap is that fun. Like. I think that's fun. You might have a different opinion. This is definitely not like an elegant idea. This is a live in the dance floor idea. <laughs> but I love that grandma's appreciating it. Like what a strange thing. Like it's come a long way, right? The world has come a long way that we have wedding robots now. Grandma probably had no idea. I had no idea and I'm not grandma's age, but a cool thing. Anyway, so I want to bring you one more thing. There's this other business that has a YouTube video for it, which, oh my gosh, and it shows the LED party robots for hire. So this one's based in uh, Massachusetts, and they also service like California and the rest of New England. But I am just, I am just like, this is, this is something else, right? Like. Imagine you're just at someone's wedding and one of these shows up. Like, you would be like, what? What is my cousin doing? This is bizarre. And maybe you'd be like, I hate this. But I would be like, this is cool as this is the coolest thing. This actually gives you a cost. It says starts at $1,000, which, yeah, that's expensive. But that actually seems... Like this seemed like something like a rich person thing to do, but if you were like, we're not gonna do a photo booth, instead we're gonna do a robot. Um, a thousand dollars is is sometimes how much it costs for a photo booth, so it's not totally unreasonable to have a thousand dollars for a robot. Like, holy crap, that is so cool. 
And they also have disco ball head ladies. Oh my gosh. They describe a party robot as an eight to nine foot LED robot that dances with your guests and ensures a party atmosphere on the dance floor. This is most popular for wedding receptions and teen birthdays. They, uh, their FAQ says that the robot will start with a grand entrance, dance with the guests of honor and your guests, take photos with guests upon request, and keep the dance floor moving and grooving, ensuring a party atmosphere the entire time. Raise the roof. <laughs> I'm so cool. Apparently the party robot is actually height adjustable too. I would not have expected that, but that's neat. So robots prefer EDM music. Some electronic dance music, you know, just to the mood. They actually send a sheet for song suggestions for Max Impact. I'm not gonna lie. So when I first heard this idea, I thought this was absurd, but I actually kind of love this. They also have LED wing dancers, LED hoopers. What is that? I want to know what they have. And LED jugglers. If you want something eccentric and unusual for your wedding, this is, this is it. This is it. This will be memorable. No one will forget that. Either in a positive way or a good way. I think it would be good. It's all a matter of perspective. So overall, what do I think? I think, I think that even though I originally thought this was really strange and kind of crazy, I actually think that this would be really cool to see happen. Like if you're just on the dance floor and then suddenly a robot shows up, you're gonna be like, woo! Cause you're probably also drinking on some level. So you're probably, I, well, would be thrilled. What a surprise for your guests. What a surprise. Thousand dollars is not unreasonable. Like, don't get me wrong, that's expensive. Like, that is not unreasonable. I wonder how long that's for. I have not bothered to get a quote. I don't want to lie to them. As a reminder, if you are new here, I do have a free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below, which comes with a wedding party mini guide to help you with your wedding stuff. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, get subscribed because I will keep doing things like this. I love absurd wedding trends and I love bringing them to you. Check out this video where I drive into some wedding drama if you enjoy some of this crazy wedding stuff just as much as I do. Don't forget to give a flirty little nudge to that like button. Give that subscribe a sassy little wink. I'm so bad at winks. Um, <laughs> to join the Sauter Otter family, the fastest growing otter family in the internet. And, uh, you know, swim with us, but keep a PG for me, okay?